this game that we're playing today... Your laptop was fighting you. You should throw it out the window. I'm just, don't do that. Uh, this game that we're playing today is apparently, and I, I didn't know this until today, it's in the style of, like, PS1 graphics. I knew that it was meant to be aesthetically in the style of, like, an old slasher flick, but I didn't know that it had PS1 graphics. I didn't actually look that far into it. <laughs> look, man, it... it We've all uh, we've all done scuff shit as mods. It's fine, you know, like banning this side. You can't do that to him if he's not in the chat, right? He's here too. Well, hello, this side. You're safe from being banned by accident today, for now. Um, all right. So anyway, like I said, this is uh, supposed to be like an old slasher flick, and it's retro graphic style, and it's supposedly not very long. Um, so this won't be a super long stream tonight, assuming that I don't get lost or stuck or anything like that. It'll probably be about as long as uh, Night Security that we played recently. It'd just be very deliberate. Like, he's not even in chat. You're like, ban, this side goes up. That would be rude. But all right, I've been looking forward to this. I found this on my list of uh, when I was Googling for short horror games. You have concerns just based on the name of this one. What's up, Agua? So this is, as I was just saying, it's supposed to be like a retro style game it's supposed to look like it's from the playstation one it's got this like vhs you know you can see it's got this like vhs filter thing going on because it's supposed to be like an old slasher flick style so i'm here for it um and it's called blood wash because as you can see you're in a laundromat uh the only thing that i know about it story wise is that we're trying to do laundry um so that, that's all i got for you but Supposedly, this game is legitimately creepy and has jump scares. Just, just to give everybody a warning, because we got jump scared really bad playing Night Security the other day. I mean, I literally jumped out of my fucking seat. Um, so, just a heads up: this game is probably gonna make you jump if you're susceptible to jump scares. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what we got. I've been looking forward to playing this one. That's uh, everything that I've said so far. That's all I know. I like to go into these things as blind as possible. All right, so first person. What a day. Professor Watt was his usual miserable self, and that test was a killer. Hopefully I can just relax and... And what? Do I have to click? Of course. Oh! Liam didn't do the laundry or clean. I'll have to do a load of laundry. I have an interview for a job tomorrow and have nothing to wear. Okay, well, I didn't know it was I'll voice acted. Close up and head to the laundry room in the basement. I'm going to have to talk to Liam later. I'm too upset and tired to go through it again. He's going to have to pull it together for this baby. Oh, we're pregnant. Okay. Okay, so we're pregnant, and we're doing. I'm confused. If we're, if we're pregnant, shouldn't he be doing the? Okay, anyway. The voice in the game could be a tad louder. I can probably do that. Well, dialogue's all the way. I have this turned down super low because when I was looking at the mixer, uh, it was like well beyond red on default. I mean, like it was blowing things away. So I'll turn this up and then I'll turn the music down right here. And we should see if that helps. Cabinets? Our kitchen cabinets. I worked really hard to clean them out and I'm proud they have stayed clean. The microwave has held up well until recently. Now it Let's off a pungent odor. Hi. Ugh. This side asked if the important people in your life know you're pregnant. <laughs> I don't know, do they? Uh, I don't know anything about Sarah yet. What's up, Spooky? Um, we're looking for the laundry. Nothing interesting inside. I'm saving up for a vacuum so I can clean this place properly. Cola. I went shopping last week, so it's pretty full right now. Okay. Well, I don't like that there's just, like, pizza boxes and empty beer cans everywhere. I think that says a lot about this dude. Dirty clothes? Oh, do I need to pick up all the dirty clothes pieces? Okay. Pick up that. I'm honestly, I'm honestly too mad to talk to Liam right now. Let him get over his hangover by himself. Alright, there's that. I'm guessing there's a piece in, like, each room. I hate this thing. I have cricks in my body I didn't even know was possible. 
All right, I think that's all the dirty laundry. Time to go to the basement. Let me guess. Uh, our washing machine is broken. It's too quiet in this place. A nice man lives here. It's good to know you can have at least one good neighbor. Well, I can sprint? This place looks... It leaves a lot to be desired, I think. An exposed electrical box. Nice. Like, could it get any worse? Out of order. What? Out of order? What am I going to do now? I should probably go back upstairs and figure something out. I think I heard something coming from that closet. Fuck off, Hobo Joe. God damn girl, you scared the Jesus out of me. I scared you? You scared me. <laughs> Not Hobo Joe. What the hell are you doing creeping around down here? I did, uh, in case anybody missed it, I did give a warning at the beginning of the stream that the game says it has jump scares. Look, I'm sorry for scaring you. I'll tell you, but can you keep this to yourself? Jesus Christ, Joe, you're insane. Yeah, I can. What's up? Even this has better voice acting than, uh, 13th Doll. Uh, the missus kicked me out and it's too cold outside, so I'm trying to wait her out down here. I really didn't mean to creep on you. Honest. I believe you. Just next time, maybe don't go around slinging doors open and hiding in the dark. I will. Thanks, kid. Say, if you want to use the washing machine, it's uh, broken. Yeah, thanks. I figured that out. Oh yeah, the letter, the the font there is a little a little weird, isn't it? Our name is Sarah. Our name is Sarah, and we're pregnant. That's all we know right now, and we live in squalor. Though by some people's standards, this might be considered clean. Why, Joe? Why? Yeah, that... They they just, like, they didn't even wait. Like, you're not even in the scary part of the game yet, and they're like, hey, here's a jump scare from a fucking hobo. Who's this? Stan? What's up, Sarah? See? Oh, he said Sarah. There you go. Yeah, it's a warm-up jump scare, exactly. You know, trying to balance life, school, and job hunting. Aren't we all? It's a tough world these days. Liam been treating you well. When he isn't drunk. Yeah. Look. You'll tell me if it gets bad. Yeah. Oh, this is the nice man she was talking about just a second ago, isn't it? I know it ain't easy to talk about. And you don't have to tell me nothing. Just promise me you'll tell me if you need help. I think he is in PJs. My sister used to be in a bad situation, too. And there's places you can go. I appreciate that, Stan. I really do. Yeah, sure. You doing some laundry at this time of night? I'm trying to. Of course, when I really need it, the washer downstairs is broken. Ain't that some shit. Okay, I need that as a sound effect. Exclamation point Stan. Ain't that some shit. Yeah. And speaking of shit, I have an interview tomorrow, so I guess I'll show up smelling like I'm crap. I'm the girl with the gall. Is that supposed to be a person? Something is not... I mean, look at his hands and his feet. Something's not right. Well, if it's an emergency, I heard of this laundromat that's open 24-7, just outside of town. Still early enough to catch the last bus. I'll have to say, though, it's a hell of a time to be out so late, especially with that maniac roaming around. There's a maniac on the loose? Well, Stan. Do you know the address? Sure, sure. Let me write it down for you. Just promise me you'll take care. I I better go grab my purse before I head to that laundromat. It's Hobo Joe. <laughs> what if he actually is the villain this whole time? Alright, hopefully I didn't miss that last bust of the laundromat. Hurry and you might be able to catch the next bus. Thanks again, Stan. Guess he just hangs out there in front of his door. Okay, bye, Stan. Yeah. 
Do we live in a crack house? <laughs> um, it seems like it. Yeah, it seems like we're like I said, we're living in squalor. Um, we're living in filth. Okay, we're living where somebody has spray painted this and it says void on the fucking wall. Who are you? Hi there. Junkie? Are you okay? Can I get you anything? It's gone. They, they, they took it. Did someone steal something from you? They took it. The people in the walls, they, they took it from me. Oh God, she's here now! That answers your question. Yes, we're literally at a crack house. I should probably leave him alone. Poor. Poor what? Oh, you know what? It doesn't matter. Poor guy. All right, we're looking for a bus. Bus stop. Hello? Can I have a ride? No, that wasn't a serious question. Why'd you stop? Is that bus stop? Oh! Got any change? No. Sure, I have a couple dollars. No, don't give it. <sighs> Better than nothing. What if Thanks, we need that for kid. laundry? I haven't seen you around here before. I moved in not too long ago. I'm usually studying or at my classes, so that's probably why. Oh, a college girl, huh? What are you don't studying? Don't be weird. I'm pursuing a career in education at the moment. Nice. That's what I got my bachelor's in. Oh, that's great. I hope I can find a gig soon afterwards. If not, my sleeping bag has room for two. Ugh. What? Oh, hey, the bus is here. Please. Where are you heading at this hour? If you don't mind me asking. The laundromat on the outside of town. Not, not sure not I he? believe that. Pretty late to be doing laundry. What's up, Manta? Hey, if you're looking to score, I have a good deal just for a pretty little thing like you. Sir. You won't even have to pay cash if you know what I mean. How about you just drive the bus and I'll pretend you're not a desperate loser. Whatever, bitch. Sit the fuck down so I can get this piece of junk rolling again. What? <laughs> Is this really happening? Dirty seat, dirty seat, dirty seat. Look at Polaroid. Has to be fake. Some people have a sick sense of humor, and it's like clearly a corpse. Yep, it has to be fake. I'd rather not sit in whatever that is splattered on the seat. Where's a, where's a clean seat? What? Oh, there we go. You're watching your mom's cat, and he's helping this side play COD. By helping, you mean making him press buttons, but he doesn't want to. Good. Make him do it some more. Are we just riding the bus now? This is just... This is riveting. Oh. Um. You want to, like, have a seat? Okay. Uh. What? <laughs> oh, God. No, don't look at me. I mean, I know I'm staring at you, but... I don't like the- oh god. Trying not to make eye contact with Stranger Simulator. How long is this bus ride? I don't want to be here. 
Uh, yes, the bus man did call me a bitch. I can zoom in. There's like... Am I supposed to interact? Oh, look out the window. It's so dark out, I can't even see the street. Uh, excuse you? A creepy guy is an accurate description. Hello. May I sit beside you? There's plenty of other seats, so I don't see why you would need to do that. May I... May I sit beside you? No. Are you deaf? Do I need to get the driver to throw you off? You're going to die tonight. What? You're going to die tonight. I've seen it. Tonight is your last night on Earth. You are walking straight into your doom. Can't you see that? You and that child inside you. How did you... You will be found just like all the others. Ripped open, your insides displayed for all the angels above to look down and see. Oh yes. Of that, I am certain. Please, just stop talking. Seriously. May I sit beside you? No! <laughs> stop asking me this. All right, miss. This is your stop. Why would... Oh, my God. Let me off this bus. Kill it with fire. I have a feeling that's not the last that we're gonna... We're gonna see of him. What if that was Hobo Joe? Why does it look like he's wearing a bag? It's like those, uh... Really boxy 90s graphics. You know, that they're going for. It's kind of a vibe. The soundtrack is pretty good when it is actually there. I feel like the game's a little too quiet for the most part. Like, where's all the music? There we go. So, something. Uh, what? I mean, it's better than the silence, but what is that? All right. Thoroughly spooked. Hello? Yes, what is it? Oh, um... Are you all really open all night? We're open all night, but I take my naps at midnight, so you better not need anything after that. Oh, okay. I'll be sure not to need anything. Yeah, we'll see. Alright. Does it matter which one I use? These are dryers. Oh, hi. Doing a late night wash too? Yeah. I work night shift at the factory down the road. This place is the only one open when I get off work. Was a real pain when the first one burnt down. First one? You do around here? Yeah, this place used to be next door years ago. But there was a big fire. I don't think they ever found out exactly what caused it. That sounds awful. Girl died in that fire, too. An employee. I don't like to spread rumors, but... But what? Pretty mysterious. The way she died, I mean. It wasn't a fire that started quickly. She should have had plenty of time to get out. 
but she was found in the office. I heard they were close to opening up a murder investigation. That a detective thought the girl was locked in. But then decided to drop it when nobody came up. You know, cops. Lazy sons of bitches. Well, if that's true, it does sound pretty suspect. Sure does. Feels like it got swept under the rug pretty quick. What with the womb ripper coming around and butchering those women. That has all the headlines. I'm sorry. Days. The womb ripper? He just nonchalantly said there's someone called the womb ripper butchering women. And our character's pregnant. God damn it. Uh, so we're here to do laundry. And there's a maniac on the loose, apparently. And this guy just casually mentioned a womb ripper, and our character is a young pregnant woman. So, you know, nothing is going to go horribly wrong at all. Which one of these machines am I using? Does it matter? Okay, there we go. I need to get some change first. What? I need to get some change. Lost and found. Pick up game toy. I'll bring it back before I leave. It'll be a long night, so I might need it. What's up, Dizzy? Thank you for the 33 months. Yes, what is it? Oh, um... I We're up and on. Oh, oh, yeah, we yeah. already did this. Alright, I need some change. Don't kink shame? Oh my god. Soap dispenser? What a ripoff. Glad I brought my own soap. Vending machine. I should probably save my quarters. Alright, how do I get change? What's back here? This wall looks different than the others. Oh, there we go. Use the change machine. That should be enough for a wash and dry cycle. Guess I can take a look at the other stores in the plaza while I wait for my clothes. Okay. What in the world is that noise? Sounds like a child crying, but I don't think it's a kid. Can't go to the liquor store? Really? Peepaws? Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. What is Peepaws? But where are those who share the memory? Hi, Peepaw. What's up, Humming Sword? Can I help you? Looking for anything specific? A movie? A video game? Fish? <laughs> what? Um, no. Just Fish? browsing, thanks. Alright, well, let me know if you need any help. Okay. And don't you even think about stealing anything. I have eyes everywhere. Wouldn't dream of it. You have quite an assortment of things. What kind of store is this again? It's Peepaw's. I'm Peepaw. It's my store. Right. Favorite character. Favorite character. They got video games. This is a new one. Looks cool to me. Shadows and Sickles. Eyes wide open. We don't get enough handheld horror games. Peepaw. Wait, isn't that... No, it can't be. Must be a coincidence. Does say starring Peepaw. Alright, we looked at that one. Oh. I played this one before. It was great. Butcher Bunny? <laughs> oh, God. Um, no, that's terrible. What does that say? The Fallen... Third? I can't read what that says. This one looks spooky. Peepaw, your face is a uh, wonderful what skincare routine do you use? Kind of a weird place to buy laundry detergent, but I guess it makes sense with a laundromat next door. A vintage cereal. Horror movies. I'm definitely in heaven. So I take it our character is a fan of horror stuff. Dustbox. Horror movies as far as the eye can see. I think I'm in heaven. 
dark, secret, foated, and shameful. Her mind is a womb, and she will stop at nothing to create her dream. I'm not liking all the references to wombs. Grip Hook. More horror movies. How did the owner get all these? This is amazing. An assortment of comics. Some pretty old ones here. Games? Oh, look at that. What's that supposed to be, like an NES? I already have one. There's a Game Boy. It's been great to have since I'm rarely home these days. Adult Triple X. Can I go in there? Am I... Am I going to get banned in this place? Porno tapes? I don't think I should click on that. <laughs> um, what is going on in here? Vintage porno. Porno mags. Okay, well, Peepaw has some interesting selections of things here. Soda display? This brand boasts two times the caffeine as normal sodas. I need to stay far, far away from this. Oh, what did I do? I picked something up. Oh, I found a comic. What's considered vintage cereal? That's a good question. Toasted whole wheat flakes. The year on this box is too faded to read. Off-brand and probably close to out-of-date cereal. Horror movies on sale. Some really good deals in here. I heart my peepaw. What is okay? You know what, Monta? I'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna risk it. You want to know? <laughs> I will click away very fast if this is something I shouldn't click on. Okay, it's censored. Wonder how that old man came across these. Not that I'm judging, of course. Okay, if it's censored, I think we're good to go. Oh my, so scandalous. It's, I guess, based on... Some of these titles sound scarier than the horror movies up front. It looks like it's just, like, really old. I don't think it's 1300s old, but... Oh! It's old. Uh, it's not what it looks like, people. I wasn't... I, w I wasn't looking at your... I... Ha! <laughs> gotcha. So black and white is vintage. Yes. Uh, so you're not stealing anything? No, uh, definitely not. Ahem. <clears throat> My apologies. He did say he has eyes everywhere. Not much use for these anymore, with tapes offering a more... Interactive experience. What's next? Virtual reality? Huh. Uh. Huh. Damn it, no. Uh. Okay. Well, this was an interesting store. <laughs> Gumball machine. I'm not really a gum person. Oh, it's a pawn shop, according to the thing. Okay. That makes sense, I think. With the variety of things that were in there. Pizza? What? What? I thought this was a pizza place. Why are they selling TVs? Greasy manager. Ah, customer. Looking for a TV? Toaster? Blender? Uh, sorry, I'm just browsing. Oh. What kind of person just browses appliance stores at this time of night? I'm just waiting on my laundry. I thought this was a pizza place. Well then, why don't you just buy a washer and dry here? We have the newest models at the lowest prices. No offense, but I feel like you're the newest thing in the store. Why, thank you. <laughs> I do take pride in my appearances. Looks like it requires some kind of code to open. Oh, there's a lockbox with a code. I bet you were going to have to find that. Is he smoking? Yeah, he's got a cigar. No greasy managers complete without a stogie, I guess. Alright. Should we check the laundry? It doesn't really look like there's much else to do here. Oh, this was pizza. 
I didn't even look at this. So this is just an appliance store. Is the pizza place open? It is. Oh, here we go. Now this is more like it. Oh, I found another comic. Pizza dude. Sorry, didn't see you there. Can I get you anything? <laughs> no thanks. I'm just killing time until my laundry next door is done. Well, you're out late. Uh, just a heads up, we're closing soon. Totally righteous, dude. Feel free to hang out until then, though. Is that Daddy John's? You mean Papa John's? No, it's Pappy John's. I like the music in this place. Old pizza. They're about to close, so the pizza is pretty stale now. And yeah, Monty, you're right, because this is like set in the, I think the 1980s. Oh, we're playing an arcade game. What am I doing? Also, his, um, he, he's not wearing any pants. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> We're just burping and vomiting on police. Dick just swinging in the wind. What's going on here? <laughs> Oh, I hate it. Let's get arrested. You are a capitalist. What did that say? Did it just call me a capitalist or something? What happened? Fortune telling machine. If a good night's sleep isn't in my future, then I don't want to hear about it. I'm not very good at these kind of games. Not that skill has anything to do with it since they're rigged. That was, um, that was an experience. Right, let's check on our laundry. Oh wait, newspaper about laundromat burning down. This newspaper talks about a laundromat burning down, but most of the details are too faded to read. I wonder if anyone around here knows what happened. I can bring this to people and see if they have anything to say about it. Okay. Let's ask the uh, greasy manager. Or no, this is Peepaw. He would know, right? He's old. Real shame. Sometimes the only way to hide a secret is to burn it. Oh. Interesting. What's going on over here? There's something sticking out of the dumpster. It's an old shirt. Ew, is that blood? I don't really want to inspect it any further. I guess it could be something else. Smells like spoiled meat. Capitalistic casualty. I think that, yeah, I think that's what it said. <laughs> the, the quote. Kidding. Look, uh, I don't know anything about that. I just opened up shop not long ago. As I'm sure you can tell by how clean it is in here. However, I'm no detective, but if you ask me, I think it has something to do with the sounds I hear at night outside. I don't want you to think I'm losing my marbles, but I hear some weird things out there some nights. Just screams, I guess. Almost like from a child. But I can tell that ain't no kid out there. Oh. I feel like he knows more than he told us. Wish this place would go up in flames next. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, play game toy. Press the left mouse button to start the game. Oh, what? What's happening? What am I doing? Okay, well that was that was the thing. Read Reapers number one. Oh, is there like actual comics? What do I, hello? What do I do? 
Nothing I'm pushing is doing anything. Maybe I can just look at it? I don't know. Alright, let's finally check on our laundry. You love the animation? Hey, the guy's gone. Is he gonna... Is he gonna jump scare us? Hello? Ugh. Hey, do you know anything about this? Yeah, sad day. Used to do my laundry there. And let me tell you, it was a lot better than this shithole. Had this real hot chick working there too. Shame she got pregnant. Had real potential to be a passenger on the D train, if you know what I mean. Someone just scream into the phone? What the hell was that? Alright, which, which dryer am I using? Here we go. Did someone ring the bell at the front counter? Pick up bathroom key. Too quiet. Locked. Weird. Well, use the key. Duh. Oh, we got condom dispensers. Eight six seven five three zero nine. <laughs> God damn it! This might be fun to call if I get bored. There's a phone in the lobby I could use. Yeah, her name's probably Jenny. I feel this sink would make your hands dirtier. I'm guessing we have to go call that number. You've reached the late night flirt line. In just a few moments, you will be connected to the girl of your wildest fantasies for 60 free seconds. Well, hey there, stud. <laughs> oh, cool. No one's called me that before. <laughs> er, I mean, uh. hey there, studettes. Oh my fucking god. I'm so glad you called. It's been so lonely over here. Been thinking about your big cut. Um. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> oh god, I'm dying. What's up, Pio? Damn it! I'm sorry. This is my first night on the job. I uh, don't think it's for me. Well, that's okay. I didn't even know what this number was for. I just called for kicks. Oh, phew. It's been one night, but I've had my fair share of creeps. I bet. Oh, I bet. Well, what kind of person just dials a random phone number at this time of night? A burnt out college student who's waiting for their laundry to finish so she can go home and get some sleep. There was way more to that voice line than the Those text. places are still open at this time of night? Uh, just this one, a little out of town. Well, are we just shooting the shit with the call girl now? Yeah, we found a phone number in a bathroom stall, and our character was like, we should call it, it'll be fun, and then this is what we got. Wait, in that plaza with the pizza palace? Yeah, that one. You know it? Yeah, I live out there. Hey, you really shouldn't be out over there this late at night. Not with the womb ripper at large. Yeah, and there's a serial killer called the Womb Ripper, and our character is pregnant. So I'm like, you know, yeah, this is totally not a recipe for disaster whatsoever. I know one of the girls who went missing. She disappeared around that area, and I'm telling you that you should really just go home. There's some things that the newspapers don't talk about. There's more to it than just the stalking and killing. It's a real psychopath, and you are right in the middle of its hunting ground. Do you understand? You need to take your laundry right now and get out of there as fast as you can. 
Your free 60 seconds has ended. To have another late night sexy conversation, please enter your credit card number now. <laughs> that got intense. <laughs> I'll just have to keep a lookout. Oh my god. Oh, that's fucking funny. That was uh honestly I appreciate all of that. That was that was well well executed, I think. Pick up the remote. Alright, where's the uh, TV's over here? Welcome to Glacier Peak Ski Resort. Where the air is fresh, the sky is blue, and the slopes are killer. This winter, Mount Doubleton has a new resident, and it's decided to dine in. Will these innocent skiers survive? Or will they become mince meat? That's really what old school commercials were like. What? The horror that is Dracula. Oh, are we just literally like watching TV? I see you marrying a corpse, living in a grave. The vampire can assume very many different forms at will. Sometimes it appears as a bat. And sometimes as a small cloud of swirling vapor. In this way, it can move unseen among its enemies. Son of Dracula, searing the screen with new terror in this weird tale of the living dead who rise from the grave at night to prey on... It's so funny to think that people used to think this stuff was legitimately Louis scary. Albritton, Robert Page, Evelyn Ankers, Frank Craven, J. Edward Bromberg, and Lon Chaney as the new Count Dracula. You'll shudder at the screen's most fascinating woman vampire, luring men with cold beauty and the promise of immortality. Count Alucard is immortal. Through him, I attained immortality. Through me, you will do the same. It's interesting that there's like entire TV stations here. What is this? Are we watching cartoons now? I wonder if these are real things or if they made them for the game. No. Check dryer timer. Looks like there's seven minutes and 25 seconds left. So it, it does it in real time? Like I have to kill that much time? Doing a late night wash too. Oh, I already talked to him. I don't want to talk to him again. Was first one? That's but what? Well, at least I can skip everything. What about the other bathroom? Locked. Weird. Police report on Lewis Kennedy. A police report that details a suspect named Lewis Kennedy. This is just for public intoxication, but that name keeps popping up. Wonder if I can find out more about him. I can bring this to people and see if they have anything to say. Hello? Oh. Guess he's having a hard time in there. I'm gonna... I'm gonna leave him to it. It's a mannequin. Who could have put this here? It's a pregnant mannequin. Well, that's totally not an omen. Has come to Whitewood to do research. Don't know how you got that. But yeah, I knew Lewis. He owned the old laundromat that burnt down. We were buds. But he disappeared one day. It's the aliens, I tell you. 
Lewis is looking down on us poor schmucks right now from the cosmos. That's totally rational. Alright, let's take this newspaper to the other people. Take it to Peepaw. Old Lewis was a real son of a bitch. Had a real eye for the younger girls he did. Don't mean to gossip, but I have it on good authority. He was the one who knocked up that poor girl who worked for him. Can't remember her name, but between that scandal, the fire, and then the disappearances, I would say all the details will never be known. Hmm. Bet you he burned down his own laundromat. And I bet you he's the serial killer. Lewis Kennedy? Nope, never heard of him. I don't need to ask him about this. Hello? You look just like her. Who? Same eyes, same hair. Oh, she used to be so beautiful. But I've lost her. It's been so long now, and I can't find her. Oh, did you know one of the girls who went missing around here? Ma'am? I guess she's done talking. <laughs> okay. What do you know about this guy? Don't know who that is, but he sounds like a real asshole to me. Fair enough. You forgot how bad PS1 games are with graphics. Honestly, this is like, I think they did this in the style of PS1 games, but I think it looks better. Maybe just a little bit. What's going on down? Oh, this is the one that burned down, right? Old building. I wonder what happened here. Something tells me we're going to have to go in there. Two minutes and 49 seconds left. Has come to Whitewood to do research. She has come doll head? She An ugly doll head. I don't remember seeing that on my way in. Why did there have to be a doll head? This is just where the change machine is, right? But there's also this wall that's clearly a door. can cause big trouble. I know where the Tri-Delta sorority is having their initiation tonight. So nope. <laughs> uh, what's happening is we're waiting for uh, our laundry, which now has one minute and 54 seconds. So we came here to do laundry because our machine at the apartment building is broken down and it just so happens that we came to a laundromat that's way out in the middle of nowhere and there's a serial killer somewhere. So, you know, classic horror setup. Maybe I should ask this guy about the doll head. Uh, not my kind of doll, if you know what I mean. I hate this. It's done yet? 58 seconds. Alright, we got one minute left on this bullshit. The only person I have to call is still probably throwing up in the bathroom. That would be the boyfriend. You hate that you know what that means. Yeah, this dude's like really sleazy. 
he literally said something about a girl being like perfect to ride the D train, and I'm like, dude, just just stop. <laughs> like, oh, what is this? Detergent. Why does the lady on this remind me of my mom? I feel like that's a universal thing, though. Fourteen seconds. We're just gonna wait it out. There we go. What the hell? These clothes are still wet. This machine must be broken, but those were my last quarters. I need to find that employee and get my quarters back. Oh, um... Well, that's not good. Oh my god! It's the employee. He's been ripped to shreds. I need to call the police. Excuse me. Nothing useful in here. 911, what's your emergency? Hello? My name is Sarah. You need to send someone now. I'm at the... Of course. Just like any classic horror movie, the phone's gotta cut out. Shit! 20 minutes later. Dispatch said they got a call coming from out here. But it's strange. I can't seem to be able to find anyone. What? Oh, am I the cop now? Oh, no. We're the cop now. Are we going to find the previous character just like dead? Locked, weird. Wait a minute. Is that someone crying? <laughs> it sounds like it's coming from that office by the pizza place. Uh. Peepaws is closed. Shouldn't they be the ones still open? Aren't they the pawn shop? <laughs> what the fuck? Hello? Is anyone there? This is the police. If anyone is there, then come out now. There's something wrong here. I better investigate thoroughly. Somebody's crying, that's all I know. Expense reports, nothing important. A schedule request doesn't look suspicious to me. A pretty long to-do list. Nothing eye-opening. Schedules and reports. Nothing jumps out to me. Looks like some kind of inspiration board. Fun. I don't think... I, I don't have any top secret documents to dispose of. Okay. There's a door. Oh, yeah. Nothing can go wrong in this hallway. Locked. Maybe I can find a key around here somewhere. Believe it or not, I don't have to make copies right now. These are all locked. Hello? What the fuck was that? Holy Jesus. Was it holding a child? Oh no. He got her, didn't he? He got Sarah. Enter closet? Well, at least we have a gun. Alright, 
And we got the office key. You know, for being a game that's, like, rendered in, like, PS1 style, with, like, really corny everything, um, it's actually kind of, like, legitimately creepy. <laughs> You're gonna scoop before you have nightmares. I think it's the concept. I think it's 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 effectively using the idea of like leave it to your imagination almost because of the the shitty graphics, and just kind of like telling you about like what the serial killer is doing. Like I feel like it's letting us make it worse in our own mind. That's the closet we were in. Okay. Honestly, I think it's more effective when they don't show things and they just let you use your own imagination. All right, and what's in here? I'll be right back. Enjoy your lurk. So many boxes. Seems like this key doesn't fit that. Okay. Oh my god, am I glad to see you. Who are you? Gotta help me. There's some crazy person running around with a knife. Slow down. It's okay. Just follow me and I'll get you out of here. Well, now I Oh. Shit. There has to be another way out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh Jesus! <laughs> this is ah! this is definitely a slasher, uh, a slasher game. What? And I can't stress this enough. The fuck! It's supposed to be like an old slasher movie. That's exactly what we're getting, apparently. Why is the cop so calm? He's the uh, he's the trope. He's. The He's the trope of the very brave hero. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> uh, we're, all right, we're, we're in it now, guys. We're in it now. We're in the, like, the legitimately scary part of the game, I guess. He's trying to stab us through the vent? Just shoot through the floor. I don't know how many bullets I have. No, Sarah's alive and now the cop's dead. It's been forever and no one is coming for me. Maybe I can make a run for it. Oh, the pervert. Well... This might come in handy. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Um, oh, there's chains on the door, so we can't leave? Okay. No time to listen to the radio. Alright, so the cop got stabbed to death in the vent. Wait, what? Oh, I went through the wrong door. Padlock. W what? Who could have done this? How am I supposed to get out of here? Let me guess. Breaks the cradle with 
fall and down will come baby cradle and all baby <laughs> oh, wait. is drowsing there's someone on the other end so this is supposed to look like that but then when I look at it it bugs out it's like the lantern in until dawn Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Um, well, anyway. Let me guess. We gotta go through this shit? Aha, there's a door behind here. And we gotta go through the old laundromat, of course. The one that burned down. What? <laughs> uh, almost. Its headline reads, Main Suspect in Police Investigation Disappears. 45-year-old Lewis Kennedy has gone missing. The top suspect in the grisly crime of an arson and alleged kidnapping and murder of a young woman has eluded authorities. Sources say that Kennedy had been under surveillance for a few weeks and at some time over the course of last night had broken contact with officers and has not been seen since. Authorities issued a warning for all residents in the area to be on the lookout for this potentially dangerous individual. I mean, they're making it seem like he's the the killer guy. But maybe that's too obvious. Pick up a flashlight. Freezer, it won't open. What are these doing here? I should probably leave. There's missing posters all over the place. It won't budge. Oh! won't budge. It won't open. Empty. Oh god, what do I do? I don't like this. Oh! Oh! It's a corpse. It looks like it's been here for a very long time. Flesh? Oh god. Machinery. I'm not sure if this is in working order. It's locked. There has to be a key around here somewhere. Scalpel. There's a face on the floor? That's not good. A note. I know I won't be getting out of here alive. That psychopath, it it kills women like me. I've heard at least three others brought here and killed. Peeking through the cracks, I saw that it creates these masks out of skin. Skin from the poor infants whose mothers were just slaughtered. I don't know what kind of game it's wanting to play. I think my time is almost up. It made me swallow a key, a key that I think would get me out of here, but I have a feeling it won't let me live long enough to use it. I'll be strung up and butchered like the rest, and my baby... Oh god, I'm sorry, my little angel. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> what the hell?! It's 
Is the key in here somewhere? Note. How long have I been here? Last thing I remember was walking home, and now... I'm locked in this godforsaken room. Who would do this to me, and why? I need to find a way to get out of here. There's a dried blood on the walls and floor, and I have my child to think about now. Swallowed the key. Yeah, I... Hold on. What was that? It was in here. Oh my god. I don't see a key. to like oh I gotta use the scalpel I can't believe I'm doing this oh that's how we got the key I want the game toy get out of here with that person hello sleepy uh, welcome to the slasher flick corpse oh my god it's a corpse Ugh, looks like it's been here for years there's a wallet sticking out of his pocket what the driver's license belongs to Lewis Kennedy but this doesn't make any sense. I need to get out of here and call the police. Well, the cop that we called is already dead. You don't have anything? Okay. Oh, that's lovely. This is terrible. She's been spayed open. Looks like she hasn't been here very long. Oh, for God's sake. This game is very disturbing, just so you know. <laughs> it's, oh, great. There's a mannequin waiting for us. It just goes to show that it, it doesn't matter what a game looks like. Like, even though it's got, like, the really crappy PS1 graphics, it's all about the, the storytelling. This shit is, like, legitimately creepy. And disturbing. Big time. Find the child? Too creepy by me? I'll need to find a way to get this lock off. I saw that! He was looking at us! Better keep this with me just in case. Oh, we got a pistol? Oh, now we're talking. The slow head turn he did earlier was actually horrifying. That's what I'm, see, that's what I'm saying, is like, it doesn't matter what the graphics are. So, oh, suddenly I'm feeling very vindicated about being scared by games that looked like this when I was young. <laughs> So all the washing machines here are full of blood. I guess that's where the name comes from. Is this where we were before? Now find the child.
Oh boy. <laughs> Does this gun even have bullets in it? Is it a false sense of security? The fuck is that? It's a doll that has been cut in half. I think there's got to be something else. Yeah, let's play with the Game Boy. Can I use the scalpel on this? No. Oh, pick up ammo? Dude, look at that! I didn't even have any ammo in the gun! Whoops! <laughs> that was wildly irresponsible of me. Um... See anything else in here? I guess the ammo was all we needed. One bullet down, I know, right? Oh, well, so much for that. I guess we needed to get both the ammo and the pistol and then come this way. There it is. Oh, this doesn't look like a kill pit at all. Come out, you asshole. I'm ready for you. Oh, is this it? Are we fighting him? It's a mannequin. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> He's gonna jump out at us. Good thing we have a flashlight because he killed the power. The mannequins are tripping me up. <sighs> so I guess while he's screaming in pain, he's running to hide and we can't do anything. I just wait for him to come to me? Help! Yeah, he came around the corner. I think I can. I don't think I even have to move. We just stand still. And just keep an eye on both sides. He moves quick, though. I gotta be ready to shoot. over yet. Yeah, he moves very fast. Just play it safe. Alright, he's gonna be coming. Got him! Oh! <laughs> 
So I feel like what they were going for is you'd run around and have to be constantly watching your back like that slappy fight. Now. Lewis Kennedy wasn't killing all those women. But the strategy was to just sit and camp in a corner. It was Samantha. After Lewis locked her in the laundromat and burned it down, she survived. Oh, shit. She must have lost her baby, though. With almost being killed, losing her child, and being terribly burned, she completely snapped. She killed Lewis, and then set her sights on killing others who had something she didn't. Oh, God. Damn. This game got me fucked up. <laughs> Is that it? There we go. That's it. Well, that was fun. Um, it went 0 to 100 real fucking quick, though. Holy shit. I was not expecting it to be that um, gruesome. Like, story-wise. Or murdering the innocent people right in front of us-wise. Was, uh, I liked it. I think it's... I feel like shit, just want to see Peepaw! <laughs> hey, you know what? We didn't see Peepaw get murdered. His his pawn shot was closed by the time the, the officer showed up, so Peepaw is probably fine. Um, he's probably fine. He'll live to sell porno another day. But I liked it. It's definitely, like, really fucked up, content-wise. Like, I think... I think this was probably pretty close to, uh, like, content warning level of, like, Doki Doki that we did. It was very gruesome, but I thought it was well done. I liked the PS1 graphics. I liked the soundtrack when we had it. Like, case in point, it just stops. Um, it was a neat little game. What's going on here? Is this an after credit scene? Well, I was pretty upset to be woken up so late for an impromptu autopsy. Oh, let me guess. The coroner's gonna get fucking murdered. And they told me that it was the actual womb ripper. Well, I got down here as soon as I could. They can't believe that it turned out to be Samantha Rhodes, who'd gone missing and was presumed dead years ago. Oh my god, Doug is so fucking dead. I need to clean this out one day. I need to clean this out one day, yeah. Yeah, no, he's he's gonna do the autopsy, and she's gonna be like, "JK, I'm not dead," even though I was shot seventeen fucking times. Not the pizza in the autopsy. I know, right? What the hell? The power went out. The fuse box is down the hall. I'll be right back. Don't you go anywhere. Oh my god, he fucking dead. Especially with whatever that was. Well, they're gonna try to jump scare us one more time. I feel like it's just a matter of when. Because of course. What the? She's gone! I have to get out of here! Not the scream one more time, really. All right, there you go. <laughs> they had to end us on a uh, a palate cleanser that isn't binding of Isaac Zombie. Um, I don't know how Samantha is still alive after being shot that much, but hey, there you go.